Hey everybody, it's Delicia here to unbox my latest shipment from stogiebird.com. So those of you who are active members, you're also excited with all the fun treats that are always added into every month. Uh, for anybody who's not familiar, again, Stogie Bird is kind of the cigar of the month type of a club. It comes directly to your door. They do offer free domestic shipping as well as international shipping at the lowest possible price out there, which is really cool. And I know it's something that there's a lot of questions that come in frequently from those of you watching that are outside of the United States that are always asking, you know, which clubs do the international shipping. And so yes, Stogie Bird is one of them and actually I don't know of anybody else who is doing international shipping, but again, it makes it really nice and easy for those of you watching who wanna participate in the fun. So this month, um, always exciting to see what's in here. I am a member and I've been a member for a little while. I did take a brief pause and then recently came back into the program, which is one of the cool perks of, again, that membership. You can pause it, you can freeze it, um, you can, make changes to it. Most people I think I've heard start out with the two for 20 and then by, you know, after a couple months they end up doing um, the one that I'm part of, which is the eight for 60. And then um, the one that I really love is the manufacturer of the month. So the brand of the month um, and the eight for 60 program is really, it's a steal because it's always way over, you know, the value of the cigars in your shipment is always way over what you're paying, which is great. Um, but again, for there's some, there's something for everybody. There's the two for 20, the five for 40, and then again, the eight for 60 brand of the month. You can do the, um, Stogie buddy system, Stogie bird buddy system. So you could do the four and four. So it's eight cigars. You kind of split it with a friend and you can build your own Stogie bird. There's a lot of different options. So again, I do kind of go over those in the beginning of all of my unboxing videos, just to kind of, um, give information to anybody that's newer to watching, but it seems like a lot of you that tune in are somewhat familiar with it. So again, anybody who's not definitely go and visit the Stogie bird website and make your customizations and get your Stogie bird shipments directly to your door. I love it. Love it. So, um, I like this. So I like this month because I love the, um, decorative tissue paper because <laughs> that's the girl in me coming out. Um, so let's see here. So I'm actually smoking one of my last uh, of my brand of the month from last month, one of my last cigars. This was the GTO um, La Cura. It's very good. And also with every shipment does come these little um, whiff out. These are the ashtray um, kind of like deodorizers. Yeah, ashtray deodorizers. That's the word I was looking for. So they're called whiff outs and they come with every shipment that you order from Stogie Bird, which is a nice little of a free gift. And so this month, again, have my brand of the month and my eight cigars for 60. So let's see. And again, a little birdie told me of some of the special treats that are in uh, this one's shipment, including a special exclusive cigar that's blended by uh, Sam and Jonas from Blackbird. So really excited to try that one out. And so let's take a look here. So with every shipment, you get the breakdown paper that tells you um, what's in it, gives you a brief little rundown of the blend and any um, accolades that might be part of the cigars uh, wrap sheet, if you will. So we have, um, they also break it down by Stogie Bird 2, Stogie Bird 5, and then if you have a Stogie Bird 8. So you can always see what's in there, um, you know, kind of see what's going on. And then we have our nice little tube, always which I love. Again, I've said it a million times. You can take these tubes, you can throw your cigars back in them, pop in a Boveda pack, throw them in your car, throw them in the golf cart, um, whatever you wanna do, but they transport easily and they keep your cigars safe and sound. And then the newer addition in the last um, half year or so. <laughs> so this is actually my new favorite sticker. Wow, so that's a picture of Sam Lucia dressed like the Colonel, Stogie Bird Cigars. I'm assuming, yeah, that looks like the KFC logo. This is so cute. 
And then we have like a Heinz ketchup Stogie Bird sticker. Love the stickers. So I was saying a newer addition to the tubes was these beautiful um, Boveda bag humidifying bags that um, again, said it a couple times now, but just in case you missed it, you could leave your cigars essentially in this bag for an entire year with the proper um, little Boveda pack in there and it would keep your cigars actually ready to smoke and, and properly humidified. So I just met another person recently who is a cigar smoker who does not have a humidor. So this would be a perfect type of a situation for that person. Or again, those of us that find ourselves in between humidors or maybe we've outgrown our last humidor and we need that additional space. It's always good to have um, options. And of course, um, never accept a shipment of cigars without a little humidifying pack in there. Okay, so. Let me go through these here. Okay. Ooh, so this is the one that I've heard good things about. So this is the, the Ruffed Grouse and it's a Beautiful offering from Blackbird Cigar Company. So originating in the Dominican Republic, we have the um, 5x50 Robusto, Ecuadorian Havana wrapper, Indonesian binder, 98 Criollo, Pennsylvania on the filler, and medium strength. This is a Stogie Bird exclusive pre-release. Hey, So something again, Nice little project that was done between Blackbird Cigar Company and Sam Lucia. I like when people get together and blend stuff. It's always something special. Again, you get a kind of a, a sample at other people's um, expertise and palettes. Of course, um, Sam Lucia is somebody that's been in the industry for quite some time. He has a really um, long por por portfolio of blending different cigars. He, he's, again, somebody that um, really knows his stuff. This was more of a passion project for him that has, I think, grown into um, like a full-time thing because it's so popular and one of the fastest growing cigar clubs that I've seen out there. So, um, but again, it's nice when you get that expertise of somebody that has the knowledge as well as the passion behind it. So very excited to get into this one here. And then this next one, the American Rebel, which is a La Silla tobacco. So this one, is something that was a collaboration type of a thing. So Sam actually blended these and made these for pro wrestlers, Cody Rhodes and Frankie Kazarian. Um, Blackbird is the manufacturer of this cigar, but um, yeah, and I think Cody is like a TV star also. He's on a show with Snoop Dogg. Um, he's, yeah, he's like a, you know, real life famous person, wrestler, TV star. So that's kind of cool. I like when, again, Fun little collaborations that happen. I love the barber pole. Um, really excited to get into this one. Again, I've heard heard a lot of good things about this. And I like the simplicity of the band. Kind of has the names, has the the two. I, I, I'm believing that's why they did the whole barber pole thing because it's kind of like two people collaborating, kind of a fun thing. So beautiful offering there. And then of course, um, it kind of falls into line. I don't know if that was on purpose, but um, Sam Lucia did the Luchador series back in the day. And so of course those were like the Mexican wrestlers and they had the masks and everything. So this one falls right into line, you know, coming in next with this American Rebel kind of still following suit with the whole wrestling theme. Not sure if that's on purpose or if that's just like a, I caught it, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one who is catching on to that, but very excited to try those too. Those are awesome. Um, again, I like Blackbird cigars a lot. I've been smoking them now um, a little bit here and there for the last, I don't know, year and a half or so, and just really impressed with their overall um, delivering of the final blend and just the flavors and then their overall um, uh, quality control of how the cigar smokes. So really good. Uh, moving on, we have the this old classic here, one of my favorites from Hoya de Nicaragua. We have the Antaño Dark Corojo. Love this cigar. This is a fabulous evening stick. 
um, with a nice straight neat uh, little sitting of rum so beautiful beautiful cigar here coming right out of Nicaragua with the um, 6x52 box press uh, Nicaraguan aged Corojo Nicaraguan binder puro I'm sorry Nicaraguan binder and filler making this a Nicaraguan puro uh, medium strength did get a 90 rating from aficionado. I would have given this more of like a 95 rating if I did numbers because I love this cigar. It's fantastic. Oh, wow. So now we have this Fudo Mayo. Mayo? Fudo Mayo? What is it? I'm saying this wrong. Fudo Moy. Oh my gosh, I do this. I butcher names. Somebody's going to correct me on here and they're going to like spell it out how to pronounce it right. So it's Fudo Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> This is a room 101. I'm going to call Matt Booth and be like, what the heck? How do you say this? Uh, room 101. So originating in Honduras. Um, Crazy Vitola. This is a 8 by 60 Figurado. Has that cool little kind of like extended little tip on it and a nice uh, torpedo type of a head to it. So yeah, I've never seen a Vitola like this. Wow. I'm sure there's some more meaning to this. Um, I don't know what this translates to. I should know. This is an exclusive series. Again, Room 101. Matt Booth is always doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, he's a fun guy. So we have a Habano wrapper, Corojo binder, Dominican and Honduran on the filler, medium strength, and a limited release this is. So um, yeah, I probably will end up doing a review on this because it's just such an odd, odd Vitola, and I like that. I like the different uh, weird shapes. That's kind of cool. Now we have, um, going back to more traditional, we have the H. Upman 1844 Reserve, another classic right here, coming out of the Dominican Republic, 6x52 Toro, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Dominican filler, medium strength on this one. Also has a uh, top 25 of 2012 from Cigar Aficionado 93 rating, so very nice. I happen to like this one with coffee. This is like a really nice coffee cigar. Um, it's easy on the palate. It's a nice kind of morning time offering. Uh, moving along, we have the Espinosa Habano. So Eric Espinosa, another one who is um, making some incredible cigars, been around a really long time and just does a lot of fun projects, does, does a lot of little collaborations with people. I know he does some stuff with um, Cigar Dojo and he just does a lot of little fun cigar projects like he did that one a few years back with the reggae and it had like dreadlocks coming out of it so just a cute idea so espinosa um, of course from the la zona factory in nicaragua has an ecuadorian havano wrapper nicaraguan binder filler medium strength also on the cigar aficionado top 25 of 2019 list with a 93 rating so very nice and moving along we have the um, Cavalier and oh I've had a couple of these now I think in my humidor these are really good these are um, kind of a horse theme equestrian type of a theme here and um, we have the 6x50 Robusto a beautiful San Andres wrapper with a Brazilian Arapiraca binder Nicaraguan and Honduran on the filler um, and I, I love the combination of San Andres and Brazilian Arapiraca the only other cigar that kind of comes to mind that I want to say has that a similar combination a little bit different is the Gurkha Ghost so just you know kind of throwing some reference out there but beautiful rich flavor profile when you combine those two and you have that super flavorful Mexican San Andres which I love it's my favorite wrapper and then that Brazilian Arapiraca which brings like a sweet earthy kind of mixture into the whole um, smoking experience and then of course you have a Nicaraguan and Honduran filler so you're going to get that strength and nice body all the way through. Um, this one is a medium strength and it says it has that smokable 24 karat gold. So I'm not sure the flavors that you get from the gold. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's subtle enough that it doesn't really um, make a major palette influence um, on that, but it's just kind of a cool little feature. Um, that's nice. And then last but not least, we have this Crazy Alice. So this is a um, infused, fun cigar. This is part of the Deadwood collection from Drew Estate. These are really popular. Um, I actually like the Deadwood sisters. They they have beautiful bands. I love all the Dia de los Muertos style um, art that they have on all their bands. And these are just fun to do every so often. Not a huge infused cigar smoker, but again, 
every once in a while it's nice for that change of pace definitely a cigar that i would recommend smoking either a day that you're only smoking one cigar or as your last cigar of the day just because sometimes that heavier infused flavor can stay on your palate for a little bit but it's a nice change of pace um, really really good with coffee if you're somebody who does black coffee you know try throwing in one of these types of cigars and it just kind of makes for um like if you're having a, a dessert with your coffee kind of an experience. So just a really nice offering. Um, this one is, of course, made at the Drew Estate Factory. It's a little short trompeta shape. Really cute, cute Vitola. Uh, Nicaraguan puro, so binder filler and wrapper. And it's a mild to medium on the body, but very nice on this one. So that is part of my Stogie Bird 8. And I know my cigar went out by now. I'm just going to set this down. It's too hard to smoke and unveil cigars at the same time i haven't mastered that <laughs> okay so moving on to my brand of the month tube these are fun and again love the decorative tissue paper just add something oh this is new so look at this little color block kind of a thing here and um wow so these are all blackbird cigars so i love it I didn't even realize that was the brand of the month when I was talking about how much I like um, Blackbird cigars. True story. I'm not that well planned out. Oh, this is cute. Again, the stickers. This looks like a little boarding pass. That's so cute. These are fun. With the little Adidas logo. These are super cute. One day I'm gonna steal that idea and I'm gonna make some cool cigar bics and stickers that look like other logos that are cool. <laughs> So, getting into these, there's my little Boveda pack. So I will put these all back in this bag when I'm done. And if I wanted to leave them there, I could, and it'd be good to smoke. So again, lots of colors with Blackbird, I love it. Um, so let's start with the first one here, which I think is this one, yes. So this is their San Andres, um, this is the Crow has a Mexican San Andres wrapper, um, Havano binder, Nicaraguan Pennsylvania Corojo, and Criollo 98 on the filler. The Crow is a medium to full-bodied cigar with a slow burn and smooth draw, which allows the complex flavors and notes of our grade A long filler tobacco to shine through. So, um, yes, I like this one. This one is really cute. I don't like to have favorites, but I really, really like this one because of the actual, um, the wrapper on it. And then just that combination of the blending. This one is really, um, a winner in my book. So moving on, we have the, the Cuco, which, um, yeah, there was a character on a new series or newer series called El Cuco. It's supposed to be like Cucuy or something. So I don't know if that's Anything to do with it? Probably not, but I like the name, El Cuco. So this one has a Sumatra wrapper, Indonesian binder, and a U.S. and Dominican filler. So again, I see Sumatra, I think coffee. I just feel like this is going to be an excellent pairing with coffee. So Cuco is a slow burn cigar with medium to full bodied smoke blended with different strains of Dominican tobaccos in the filler. It has hints of chocolate and a touch of black pepper in the retro hail. That sounds fantastic. And... Yes, this is gonna be um, my new buddy with coffee. Gonna do that this week and gonna post it on Instagram. So make sure you're following that. Um, so now we have the unkind. Um, don't be unkind to people, but go ahead and smoke unkind cigars. Uh, Brazilian wrapper, Dominican binder and Criollo 98. Um, the HBA and Corojo Pe and Pennsylvania on the filler. So nice amount of uh, different varieties in that filler. Unkind is a medium bodied cigar with a very distinct flavor due to that Brazilian Cubra wrapper. The blend is also made with grade A long filler tobacco. Um, yes, so not a lot of people do the Cubra, the Brazilian Cubra. Um, good things happen when people do the right kind of blending with that. So I have smoked that one before and I'm trying to remember what I had it with, if I had it by itself or if I did it with something else. But um, yeah, I just, that's a really nice offering as well. I love their whole lineup. Um, next we have the Rook. Um, this one is a Sumatra 
wrapper, Habano binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican on the filler. It says Rook is a mild to medium bodied cigar with a very nice aroma and a natural sweet taste. It is blended to provide a smooth and creamy profile, or in other words, this is also a great coffee cigar. Again, Sumatra, Sumatra wrapper, just it shouts out, drink me or smoke me with coffee. I just, I hear it. So this will be another coffee one. Next, we have the Jack, Jack Daw. Jack Daw, okay. Um, so Connecticut wrapper, Indonesian binder, Corojo, US and Dominican on the filler. I have not smoked this cigar. It says Jack Daw is a mild to medium bodied cigar wrapped in a Connecticut leaf from Ecuador. This blend has hints of sweetness and white pepper with a unique aroma thanks to the Corojo 99 blended in the filler. Very nice. And the Ruffed Grouse is a medium bodied blend with a beautiful oily Habano wrapper Flavor notes of creamy, dark chocolate, and white pepper will engulf your palate. So this is the one that was also part of my Stogie Bird 8. Um, Habano wrapper, Indonesian binder, Cuyoyo 98, and Pennsylvania on the filler. This is the one that was a special project with um, Sam Lucia and uh, Blackbird. So very cool. Can't wait to smoke this one. And then we have this Finch. And this one has a Sumatra wrapper, Indonesian binder, and USA and Dominican on the filler. Finch is a mild smoke with a smooth draw and hints of white pepper blended to be the first cigar of the day with nice coffee notes. So there you go, three cigars in here for sure are coffee friendly, I like it. I'm thinking that you could probably do other ones, but for sure the three. Uh, this one, the, the Rook and the are gonna be like excellent with coffee. So if you have this shipment, make sure you brew good coffee that day and you have it with your morning coffee. Report back, let's get some tags going, you know, coffee and cigars on Instagram. Make sure you tag Tasa's Coffee by me, <laughs> as well as Stogie Bird. Um, so last but not least, we have this American Rebel Barber Pole. Cigar made for Cody Rhodes, Frankie Kazarian, and Sam Lucia. It is a four country blend that is both sweet and spicy. So this one has, um, again, that barber pole. So you have Connecticut, US Connecticut, and San, San Andres on the wrapper. Oh, wow. That's quite the combo. I haven't, uh, I'm trying to think of any other barber poles that are using a US grown Connecticut with a Mexican San Andres. I like that combination. I feel like that's gonna be really, really good. Um, Indonesian binder and then Dominican, Nicaraguan and Pennsylvania on the filler. Um, wow, sweet and spicy. I like it, it's kind of like me, sweet and spicy. Um, just saying. Now, this one again is that kind of like special project. So, um, gosh, I'm gonna be really busy smoking these and reporting back to you guys on Instagram about how good they are. So, definitely, um, man, I'm trying to, it's like every month I'm always blown away by the cool stuff that gets sent to me. So I'm really excited to um, expand on my Blackbird love because I've so far all the cigars that I've smoked from them, I really enjoyed. So I'm really glad to add some, some more of them to my humidor. We'll see how long they last there because it sounds like I'm gonna be smoking um, quite a few of them this coming, the next week or so. So definitely check back on Instagram. Make sure you tag me, tag Stogie Bird, tag Blackbird and anybody else that's in your shipment if you are already a Stogie Bird member. Um, feel free to post your comments, your questions, concerns. Sam is somebody that's really good. He's very active on social media. So if you have any direct questions for him, um, I'm putting them out there. <laughs> he definitely will get back to you. Um, he's just one of those people that is really all heart. Um, you may even get like a personalized note with your shipment. He's just one of those guys, um, stellar guy, great cigars coming at you and really good prices. So to me, it's a no brainer. They deliver them right to your door and I love it. So thanks for tuning in. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Have a fabulous week and cheers.